Hello, today we're going to be talking about percent change problems, specifically when we're talking about markdown. Markdown is a business term, usually meaning to discount something, but we're going to use this whenever we're dealing with a percent change where our numbers are decreasing. Please take a second to write down the percent change equation. The percent change equation, we say the difference between the original value and the new value. And we always use the absolute value, meaning the positive value of that difference. <clears throat> we express if it's going down by saying decreasing, and if it's going up, we say increasing. So it's the difference over the original value equals the percent change over 100. You'll notice that this equation is very similar to the equation we use to find percents. And again, we have a proportion, a fraction equal to another fraction. Make sure you have this in your notes. Here's our problem. The regular price of a pair of jeans is $92. During the sale, they are marked to $70. Find the percent of the markdown, so find the percent of the discount. Let's see how we're going to solve this. First, I wanted to show you a bar model. So we know that 100% is $92. So this bar is representing the total cost of the jeans. And then we have a discount. The new price is $70, so the $70 plus the discount equals the 100%. What we're trying to find is what this is as a percent. The first step to finding the percent change is to find the difference from the original price to the new price. We find the difference by taking the original price and subtracting the new price. The difference of the price is $22. Now that we have the difference, we can put our information into our percent change equation. Here's the information we know. Again, you're always going to know two of the three items. In this case, we know that the difference between the original cost and the new cost is $22. We know that the original value is $92. And the percent change is what we're looking for. That's x. Remember from the uh, first slide that our percent change equation is the difference over the original equals the percent change over 100. So we're just going to substitute our values into those numbers. Again, if you can simplify your fractions, it's often easier to start there. So we're going to do that. Both 22 and 92 are divisible by 2. Now we can use our cross products to solve. We get 11 times 100 equals 46 times x. We're going to simplify that. 1100 equals 46x, and now we can solve by using our inverse operation, meaning we're going to divide both sides by 46. We get x equals 23.9, or 23.9 equals x. <clears throat> we need to make sure that when we are answering the question, we are using the word discount or the word decrease to show that the price is going down. So here's our answer. The price is discounted, or the genes are discounted, 23.9%.